In the preparation to the much anticipated independence of South Sudan in Juba, students from St. Teresa Primary School stage a rehearsal of the new national anthem. The anthem entitled God Bless Our Nation was composed from lyrics of different South Sudan poets and musicians early this year. It talks about freedom, peace, equality and prosperity and also praises those killed during the conflict between Southern and Northern Sudan. After a series of tunes, this particular melody was chosen and approved by the Southern Council of Ministers recently. We started uh, last week, we started singing the, school, the, the national anthem in the school every day. If one person may go lead the rest of the student, we'd go and stand on the stage and start singing the national anthem, then all of us will follow. The government has just not embarked its efforts on national symbols, but has stepped up to improve structures like the airport to provide a better level of service and also be a step towards economic growth and development in the new nation. Hundreds of men are seen either carrying or assembling building materials here. These men, mostly from East Africa, are carrying out a 30 million US dollar upgrade to modernize what will be the main international airport of the soon to be independent South Sudan. I'm a Kauka Moses, a serial fixer. We are ready to finish before that. Day. We are going three quarters to work. Just a few days to the anticipated independence of South Sudan, the government is committed to develop the existing airport into an international licensed facility. A world-class building is expected to be ready before the 9th of July. From the airport, invited guests will proceed to John Garang Mausoleum, where a pavilion to seat them is still under construction. This is the stage where the independence of South Sudan will be declared and the flag rose. Right opposite this pavilion is where the local population will view the proceedings of the ceremony. There seems to be a lot of work unfinished here, and yet days come to pass. All these preparations for the celebration of South Sudan's independence claimed a cost of 90 million US dollars and were all started at a very late hour. The biggest worry among the locals here is that some of these structures will not last given the pace at which they have been hurried. For Sudan Votes, I am Mathis Pirunji in Juba, South Sudan.